Three, two, one. Back on with me, Okay, everybody, welcome back, and here we are with the finished product of the gas mask. Now, I have these guys sealed on here, and I can actually breathe really well through it. And as you can see, I'm not struggling. I'm actually talking a lot louder than I did before. And I've actually now got two filters where there's four layers of uh, air conditioning filter and a quarter inch of activated charcoal with 14 layers of cheese cloth as my filter. Now, we're going to see if this will work for the cayenne pepper gas chamber. We're about to fire up the gas chambers. And we're going to see if it's going to kill me. Not really kill me, but, you know, literally kill me. Or if this is actually going to be a successful project. Worst, worst case scenario, I have another funny video. Best case scenario, I now have a way of making a charcoal filter. And then I'll make a more professional version instead of just trial and error. So let the fun begin. Okay, everybody, we have our cayenne pepper, 2.5 ounces. We're not pouring as much as we did before, so we don't feel getting out the kids. Let's turn on the lights to the Slimus gas chamber, and let's seal this puppy on down. Now, here we go. Gas is on. We are fired up. So, guys, we're going to get ready to mark the video of the time that we will begin doing this once I pour this. So, first sign of trouble, I'm bending it out, activating my new fan to filter out this area. So, let's go. Here we go. Are we going to have some fun? Or is it going to get bad? So, start the timer and begin. I'm going to need something to hold this. Now the video will not stop moving, will not stop recording, because I want people to know that this video is actually legitimate. Okay, people. So in this video, we are going to see if activated charcoal is going to filter out the cayenne pepper. Now, as of now, it's doing good. I have a very, very slight taste of cayenne pepper, but it's not bad. It's like, almost like a spot. It's like you're eating it and stuff like that. Okay, so as you can see, the film, the smoke is getting stronger. So, I actually, I can still taste the cayenne pepper, but it's not that bad, actually. Uh, but it is getting slightly stronger. So I'm thinking, from this point here, that cayenne pepper will be able to filter through activated charcoal. So therefore, activated charcoal mask cannot be used. Woo! Right here. Oh, look, it's kind of burning my eyes today. The last time, I never actually burnt my eyes. But it kind of... <coughs> <coughs> nope, it worked, but it didn't. So the cayenne pepper is diluted down by the activated charcoal, but it's not actually overpowering or strong. As you can see, my face is in the cayenne pepper. I'm breathing fine. My eyes are watering. It's a slight taste in my mouth, but it's not overpowering like if it would be if I did not have a mask. And as you can see, almost all the cayenne pepper is fully burnt off. So, we have a, actually, I could say that we have a semi-successful gas mask. So, I could say that the activated charcoal does work. But now, is the activated charcoal within the chambers 100% in every single spot? That, I don't know. But that's why I put the holes in the center to force as much of the air through the center of the activated charcoal as possible. So, therefore, here we go, let's put the rest on it. Let's go. Let's have some fun. More cayenne pepper. More cayenne pepper. So, we're going to just keep burning ourselves out. So, that's why I put the activated charcoal holes in the dead center of the gas mask to try to filter out as much of the cayenne pepper as possible. So, I'm going to call this 
Um, Idyllamite, which we've got it burning over here. A hit and a miss. Okay, it works, but it doesn't work. So I need to find a way to better spread the activated charcoal around the gas mask so that I can be able to allow the uh, entire chamber to be filtered out by the stuff. And as you can see with this light here, you got the cayenne pepper filtering through the air. If you can see the smoke from the light, that's nothing but cayenne pepper fumes. If I take this mask off right now, it's really going to fucking kill me, my lungs. So right now, I'm taking a deep breath. Look at this. And let's see if you can see the suck into my mask. And it's not killing me. But if I take this off, let's do it. We'll see what happens. We'll take this off. We want something funny? Let's go. Let's do this. We are going to take this mask off. And we're going to see exactly how bad this cayenne pepper is. So we know how well the mask works. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <coughs> okay. Oh God, yep. <laughs> oh no, the mask works. It works, I was actually able to talk good. Fully, no, just a berry taste. It almost tastes like I was cooking something. But I took the mask off to prove how well it works. Yeah. As soon as I worked up, my yeah. lungs locked up. It's when you took the mask off. <sighs> look how much. Yeah. Look at all that coming out. Yeah. yeah. So, so we know the mask works. Okay. So right here just proved. Right here just proved that the activated charcoal actually does work in filtering out cayenne pepper. So my whole theory is wrong. I'm gonna go back in here and turn off the grill. <sighs> okay. We're opening up this back door to create a draft. Look at all this. Look at all this fume. Look at all this. All of this smoke is pure cayenne pepper gas. Oh God. <coughs> all of this is fume straight up cayenne pepper gas. Coming from Slime Studios Productions and Lotus Operations Gas Chamber. So guys, activated charcoal does filter out gas mask. Oh my God, this is worse than the last batch. But that's because I freaking Breathe it in just for the video to prove how well the gas mask works. Like you said, if you're going to build a product, you need to test it. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And let's keep on subscribing, guys. Keep on liking my videos. So, yeah. So have fun now. Lotus Operations out.